Hey YouTube, Joe here. So, we got a nice beautiful beer here we got to taste. I'm sure you can see that it's pretty bright in here. Nice carbonation. Nice head on there. Nice pretty, I'd say it's a real light golden color. Not quite straw, you know, but it's a, definitely a lighter beer. Um, this is the American Cream Ale we brewed up. It's been several weeks ago, actually, and um, now it's time to give it the taste test. The uh, head on there is actually pretty, pretty meringue for a uh, such a light beer, so protein was good. So here we go. Cheers. Not too bad. Not too bad. You don't really get too much in the smell. You get like that kind of malty smell, but obviously not much in the hop side. We didn't use, but gosh, just a dash of cluster, really. So it's not meant to be a hoppy style anyway. But yeah, it's got a nice smooth taste. The biscuit malt is definitely there. Um, I may cut back, if I do this again, I may cut back on that biscuit malt just a bit. But, um, pretty well balanced, actually. Just enough hops there to kind of balance out what malt sweetness is there. But it did ferment out pretty well. Um, I'd have to check the numbers, but I'm pretty sure this thing came out just, just about like 4.5 or 5% right around there. Yeah, but not too bad. Pretty good beer. I'm not a big fan of the real light beers anyway, so uh, this was kind of an experiment <laughs> just to see uh, if I could do an all-grain lighter beer. I've never done a light beer, actually. All-grain, now that I think about it, the lightest has been like ESB, um, you know, Ambers, you know, like that pumpkin ale is an amber. Um, well, in the amber category, I guess it's a holiday beer. <laughs> um, let's see, what else? Yeah, stouts. I've never tried a, a light all grain, so this would be the first, and I'd say it turned out pretty darn good. Um, definitely not a beer style that I typically have uh, have on the look at that for those lacing fanatics. Delish. Yeah, I think I just lighten up the. Uh, Biscuit malt, just a dash. I mean, like, let's see, we put in, was it half a pound? I'd probably do, like, 0.4 pounds rather than 0.5. Like I said, just a couple ounces less. I think I think it may smooth it out a bit better, you know, kind of round it out. Um, I didn't, <clears throat> there's several recipes I've seen that use, like, corn. And I didn't want to do that with this one. Just barley and hops. Actually, yeah, this, because this would be uh, just the barley, the hops, yeast, and water. So, technically abided by the German beer purity law this time. Sweet. I guess does pH stabilizer count against that? <laughs> I don't know. I'm really not that anal when it comes to my brewing, and uh, uh, I just shoot for good beer, and this is definitely good beer. So, I would say... Definitely give it a try if you've never tried brewing a cream ale. Um, I do actually have an extract kit at the BIY website, so if you're interested, give it a try. Let me know what you think of it. But yeah, this is definitely a session beer. I could probably chug like six of these in a row and I could still walk. Sure. <laughs> still got that. Head and lacing. Head and lacing. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Well, thanks for watching as always. Please do uh, check out my other vids and subscribe if you're new to the channel, if this is the first video you're seeing. Um, you can obviously uh, click to see the brewing of this beer right here. Um, as well as check out all the other brewing series. And if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down in the comments section. And, uh, you know, I'll get back to you like always. So, thanks for watching. Cheers! 17.